it is possible to take the four seed as opposed to the five. You would have to win your last two. Clippers would have to lose their last two. Kyrie is out this evening, I do believe. But you're locked in with the Clippers either way. How do you attack? How would y'all attack this weekend knowing that your regular season ends on Sunday? You're not going to start the playoffs until the ensuing Saturday or Sunday. I would play it as we're the five seed and we're not trying for anything else. Okay. But since there is the play-in situation, I might go, all right, Kyrie's missing tonight's game. Luka's missing the next game. Kyrie or Luka tonight will play not an overload of minutes. I'm not playing him 40 minutes. But Luka wants to get his. But like, let's play him 30 minutes. And then the next game, Luka, you're out. Kyrie, you play 30 minutes just so like there's a flow there. And maybe you say if Luka feels good, maybe like just so we can keep things going. You guys are going to play 12 minutes together. Six minutes in the first quarter, six minutes in the third quarter. You're, you guys aren't playing the second and fourth quarter together in the next game, but I don't know. I'm not I'm not trying for the one. It's probably more than 1%. 10% chance. That sounds about right. That LA is going to lose their two easy games because don't they have two easy games? Yes. And then you have... One easy game, one possibly very tough game, because Oklahoma City could be playing from anywhere from the one to three spot. And I think they will be. So I'm just not, I'm not going after something that's a 90% chance of not happening. I saw the Mavericks go after a 10% chance, and Luka was hurt for the first three games of the Utah series. And luckily, Jalen Brunson was unbelievable. But I just don't want to put that risk out there and I don't mind if I don't I have no clue where Daniel Gafford's body is right now or Maxi Kleba he missed a lot of time but Maxi is a guy who really is only a 40 game a year player his body cannot handle an NBA schedule right. so I don't if you want to sit out some other guys this what they've done and what they accomplished to get to the five seed to me has given me hope that they can win the whole NBA championship so now you're like I don't want to mess it I, I, I'm sorry. Derek Jones Jr. looked like he ripped his arm off his body the other night. Have we heard any? Is he okay? Is Did, Ooh, did he turn I, out all right? I, I'm trying I to look that up. I have heard an injury concern about him. Okay. Did you year. see that play where it, yeah. like, his, he was like in a lot of pain? I, I can't remember if he came back after that. Uh, so if you can, help me out with that. But that was where, that was the moment where I was just like, no, not right now. I like all these pieces fit perfectly right now. And I can't. And of course, he's good. It could happen game one. You know, like game one, anything could happen. Somebody could get hurt. Sure. And now the series has changed, and Jason Kidd has to come up with a solution for for that too. So I understand that part, but I am kind of in the in this mindset of let's just sit everybody, the whole thing, and let uh, let Jaden Hardy and that crew play all the minutes. Let them play all the minutes, the whole game. Roll out seven dudes that uh, never get time. Hell. Marcus Morris, Markeith Morris, just Morris, one of the Morris brothers, Mar Markeith. It is Keith, yeah. Go out there and do your thing, man. You finally get to play. Is is there any concern about, like, you're right, injury can happen at any point. Do you want to get another game or so in since you're going to have a big layoff? Or do you think you can accomplish that in practice scenario? I think this is where you know your players' bodies. Fair. I don't know how bad Luca's knee is feeling i know it bleeds a lot right. but i i just need to know where's everybody's body at it's kind of like be honest with me here like luca won as far as i know luca won the scoring title right that's he i mean it'd have to be it might be statistically impossible let me double check I mean, that it, for him to lose it at this yeah point. so i mean yeah, Luka, especially because Giannis is out and, luca's accomplished yeah. what he needed to accomplish the team has accomplished what he has needed to accomplish Kyrie. He played more games than I think anybody ever expected, Well, especially in a row in this situation. When you really needed him, he was there for you. And not only was he there for you physically, he was there for you completely. And they, and great. they, found, their, they found what works. Like I don't think yeah. they're going to lose that in whatever span it is. But I if, don't think that. But I think you also ask Kyrie and Luca. Kyrie, if you have eight days off or 12 day, days off instead of six days off, do you think you're going to lose your shot, lose your rhythm? Yeah. If you I say, like, no, I want to play, I, I feel good to play, and I don't want to lose this, what's going on right now, then I say, all right, well, we'll keep playing. But I do need to make sure that they're, they're giving me the honest truth about their body, 
my trainers are telling me the honest truth about where they're at because the Mavericks do, I really believe they have a chance to win the whole thing this year. Would I bet on them to do it? Not necessarily. I would bet on Denver first, Boston second. I would bet on the Mavericks third. Now, a little bit of bad news on the scoring title front. Shea Gildas Alexander still alive. If he can score 331 points total in his final two games. One of those against the Mavericks. Uh, he can get it done. So keep an eye out on that. But to your to your actual point then. And he'll be the first it, Maverick ever. He did it. He's the first Maverick ever to lead the league That's in scoring. Pretty. That's pretty awesome. Did we ever check in on Scoot and whether or not he scored 100 a game down uh, the stretch he here? He did not. Uh, yeah, they didn't report it. So I I'm will assuming. look for There's the specific game MLB logs. Stuff. Maybe Caitlin Clark took all the headlines away, and they're like, "This dude's scoring 100 a game," but we got to get to Caitlin Clark. Yeah, <laughs> doing his best. Uh, he scored like uh, 18 points last 18, game. 19, 19, 15, 19, 22, and 13. So close. close. He's close. Yeah. Double no, digits. No, no. That's well, one digit away from triples. It's just mm. under True. 100, Kevin. All right. Yeah. As uh, he's hitting doubles instead of triples. As we, yeah, you know, the Rangers could use that. Any kind of one extra, hit, doing, any man? kind of extra base hit. At least the Rangers won that game in Major League. That they was a good championship. Why are you going after him like point. that? <clears throat> the winners for the major awards in the NBA final weekend of the NBA regular season. Corey, I thought you would approve of this. I went to NBA.com where they had five experts. I feel like that's on the cusp. <sighs> five is five is my ultimate max. Okay. That I that I'm okay with. I prefer one. Like I feel like we sure. have an expert here. Uh but three is probably the best if I'm not just given one. But it has to be an odd number. Yes, agree. Otherwise it's just a tie. Quick update. Tiger through nine is one over. So as of right now For the he, round or the tournament? For the tournament, he would make, make the, the cut. cut. All right. So that's I'm just throwing that out there just I think that's interesting. But I, go ahead. Let's go basketball. No, I actually have a real golf question. All right. It always seems like the cut is about give or take 10 shots back right. of the leaderboard. Is it, But it's number of golfers that they actually take, right? And not just It's either or. Okay. Okay. Because it always seems like it's about 10 shots back. All right. Who is your NBA MVP? Luka. Man, my, my son is furious that I keep telling him I think it's going to be Jokic. I just think Luke is going to finish second. So I will say Jokic as my son is like, you're a moron. I'm going to say Luka because I agree with his son. And Jokic said he doesn't even want to talk about MVP anymore. He thinks it's out of hand. So, Oh. Did you hear that? He was just like, I think this whole conversation is getting out of hand. Just well, I mean, look, the betting odds have... Jokic is an insurmountable favorite. Like he's minus. What are the betters now? Between three thousand and five thousand. I did like what Richard Jefferson had to say the other day after the Miami Heat win the Mavs had, and it was like Luca pretty much is the second half MVP. I agree with of that. the NBA, but we have to take in the whole season, and the whole season he just wasn't a contender for MVP. Yeah, and that's where my son got really amazing. He was averaging 35 points a game at the All-Star break. I'm like, I get it, but the Mavericks weren't winning, and yeah. he wasn't playing good defense, and the team wasn't winning a lot of games, and so he, was not, he wasn't even in the top five category. Like, at the All-Star break, it was Jokic, Shea, I know Tatum was kind of in, like, barely yeah. in the top five. And Bede before he got hurt. Yeah, and it might have even been Anthony Edwards that they were considering a good season like as well like uh in the top five around the all-star break so it's it was very tough that you get to mid-february or early february not a top five contender and then win it all five of the voters mm -hmm. from nba.com said Jokic is going to be did they have a second MVP. place vote or no no they just okay. gave first right. i will tell you though again if you're just going off the betting odds it's pretty overwhelming for luca to finish second right now which would be obviously his highest mvp finish ever this one should be easy. Rookie of the year. Chat. <laughs> okay. Scoot. Maybe, maybe it's <laughs> lively. Yeah, Derek Lively, absolutely. It's, Where is Scoot on this it's list? It's Victor Wembenyama. It's easy. I don't know. I feel like you're not giving Jaime Hawkes enough uh, and, credit. And look, here. Anthony he Black. started off the season really well. Anthony Black. Okay. Wembenyama's well, team's terrible. All five of the voters said Wem. Wallace for Oklahoma City. Kaysen Wallace? Yeah. 
His team is Wimby's team. He's is from Richardson. Terrible, dude. Okay, look, I'm not saying who I voted for, although it would definitely also be Wimby. Can I double up on the Thompson twins to both be the yeah. rookie? And Anthony Black's from well, the Metroplex. It ain't He's from them. multiple schools. Who should be the defensive player of the year? Victor Rembayama. <sighs> okay. What? Hold on. So you would pick him for defensive player of the year, but not rookie of the year? I'm with Reggie on this one. You don't want to give him too many things. You don't want his head to get too big. Yeah. Wouldn't you give him rookie of the year instead? Maybe you should give him a lot of awards. He needs like, to improve that body. I kind of like him it's, not getting rookie of the year because then he's like, man, I was passed up for that. Yeah, I need to lose another 60 games next year. Sheesh. All yeah. five. He's made a major impact in losing. Gafford. All, ooh. And I, Luca. I think it's Rudith Gobert. That... <laughs> I, I like the fancy pronunciation of the first name, so we will go with Rudith for that. That makes Correct. sense because Judy is Judith. That makes sense. How many times does a big man win this award over a guard? All the time. Yeah. Like Marcus Smart winning uh, was uh, Defensive Player of the Year was the first time since, what was it, um, Gary Payton winning yeah. the Defensive Player of the Year as a guard? Yeah, it doesn't happen anymore. Six man of the year, three votes for Malik Monk. You know who also got a vote was Nas Reed. And the reason why I wanted to bring him up, somebody held up a giant Nas Reed sign in like the eighth row at WrestleMania. And I just thought was that it was in Philly. In it, it was in Philadelphia. They just had a big Nas yeah. Reed sign. All right. And I cool. just thought that was amazing. The most improved player. So Tim fell off this list, huh? The six man. Yeah. He did. Yeah. So there's another vote for Bogdanovich. Derek yeah. Jones Jr. For who? Most improved? Yeah. Hey, uh, Stephen A. Smith did bring this up. He's He said, I have no clue if he has a real vote or not. He said he's voting for Kyrie Irving. Interesting. We have had this person on the show this year. P.J. Washington. Oh, uh, Danny Green. Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese I don't, Maxey. I don't like what we're doing with this award. And Jalen Williams are the two leading candidates Per NBA.com. For his motorcycle for injury. Kobe White, which I he feels like he's more the spirit of the war. Yeah. I think that is a viable answer right there. And who is the coach of the year? Kid. You, we should probably give him more consideration for I it, though, right? Don't disagree with that, but I Oklahoma City's coach. Mark Dagnall. Dagnall. Is it Dog Dagnall? I thought it was Dagnall. I'm but, not gonna say that I know for sure. Okay. Scotty There's Brooks. a lot of consonants in there. You, you might be right, Dagnall. But yeah, he is overwhelming favorite. Sean Sweeney. All, uh, this is for head coach. Oh, Has it ever said, been specifically said, stated that it's for head coach? You said coach of the year. Uh, he did. He took the worst defense in a long time and turned it into something good the last 20 games of the year. Sweeney's not in charge of the defense this year, though, isn't it? It's, it's uh, Dudley and there's another coach that's also in charge of the defense. Dudley and other coach are my suggestions. Mm. Shout out to Jared Dudley. I guess to be fair, and this coach. is really weird. All True. these other awards are sponsored by Kia, but this one is just the NBA Coach of the Year. So, oh, they don't have a sponsorship for the coach.